day on Earth may soon last up to 25 hours. Wish you had more time in the day? A day on Earth could soon last 25 hours, and it's thanks to the Moon. The Moon is making days longer because it has been moving further away from the Earth for billions of years, according to a new study. The Moon is making days longer because it has been moving further away from the Earth for billions of years, when days used to be just 18 hours long. Eventually, days will lengthen significantly as the Earth's only celestial body orbits further away, giving us even more time to get things done. A new study that reconstructs the deep history of our planet's relationship to the Moon shows that 1.4 billion years ago, a day on Earth lasted just over 18 hours. This is at least in part because the Moon was closer and changed the way the Earth spun around its axis. Study author Professor of Geoscience Stephen Myers at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, said, as the Moon moves away, the Earth is like a spinning figure skater who slows down as they stretch their arms out. It describes a tool, a statistical method, that links astronomical theory with geological observation, known as astrochronology, to look back on Earth's geologic past, and reconstruct the history of the solar system. Professor Myers said, one of our ambitions was to use astrochronology to tell time in the most distant past, to develop very ancient geological time scales. We want to be able to study rocks that are billions of years old in a way that is comparable to how we study modern geologic processes. Earth's movement in space is influenced by the other astronomical bodies that exert force on it, including other planets and the Moon, and determine variations in the Earth's rotation around and wobble on its axis. These variations are collectively known as Milankovitch cycles and they determine where sunlight is distributed on Earth which also means they determine Earth's climate rhythms. Over billions of years time has changed significantly on Earth, because the solar system has many moving parts, including the other planets orbiting the Sun. Small, initial variations in these moving parts can propagate into big changes millions of years later, but trying to find the origins of these significant differences has been impossible until now. Last year, Professor Myers and colleagues cracked the code on the chaotic solar system in a study of sediments from a 90-million-year-old rock formation that captured Earth's climate cycles. Still, the further back in the rock record he and others have tried to go, the less reliable their conclusions. For instance, the Moon is currently moving away from the Earth at a rate of 3.82 centimeters per year. Using this present-day rate, Scientists extrapolating back through time calculated that beyond about 1.5 billion years ago, the Moon would have been close enough that its gravitational interactions with the Earth would have ripped the Moon apart, he explained. Eventually they were able to reliably assess from layers of rock in the geologic record variations in the direction of the axis of rotation of Earth and the shape of its orbit, allowing them to make more accurate choices than ever before. They were also able to determine the length of day and the distance between the Earth and the Moon. Co-author Lamont Research Professor Alberto Melanverno at Columbia University said, It was exciting because, in a way, you dream of this all the time. In the future, we want to expand the work into different intervals of geologic time. Professor Myers added, The geologic record is an astronomical observatory for the early solar system. We are looking at its pulsing rhythm, preserved in the rock and the history of life. The study was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences.